Hello brothers and sisters and welcome to Happy Sabbath with me and Kyle Alverson. We're at Carl's house and today we're doing a a Knights Templar blessing on the sacrament. As you can see we have our tabards on and uh, I shall say an opening prayer. So Heavenly Father we thank you for this day that we can come together and we can pray and that your spirit is with us and that we can share the sacrament with the people watching all over the world. We pray a blessing on people of the world that are, are struggling with wars, hurricanes or whatever, who have lost loved ones, we pray for them and that you will put your arms around them and guide them and help them. That you'll put your arms around the governments of the world and that there will be peace one day. I'll say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Happy Sabbath, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our special service today. At this time, we welcome all present to Christ's table. We invite all who would participate to do so as an expression of the peace and love of Jesus Christ, in whose name we worship. The Lord's Supper is a sacrament, a time to focus on the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As disciples of Christ, we renew our covenants and recommit together to His mission, to grow closer to Jesus Christ, as individuals and as a community, worshipping Jesus Christ through God's Word, the sacraments, ministry, outreach, Kabbalah, and Jubilee. We encourage all that are worthy to receive communion to do so frequently and devoutly. If you would like to bow, kneel or sit, whichever you are comfortable with, I will pronounce all the blessings on the bread and the wine. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Every time we eat the bread and drink the, this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Let us think, brothers and sisters, back to the Holy Scriptures, and particularly the Sermon on the Mount, in which our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ was asked, how should we pray? And the Saviour responded with these words. So as I say them, brothers and sisters, I would like you also to say them in your own heart and way. And it is this prayer our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen.
I ask, brothers and sisters, that our Lord and Saviour be present with you all, that he may watch over and guide you. We know that he is with us because he has told us that. And we must keep always the faith. And remember always why we take the sacrament. Because it fortifies us from all the arrows and slings of the world. And it's each and every time we see, receive the bread and drink the wine, it acknowledges once again that our Saviour died and shed his blood for us. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. Thank you, Brother Carl, for sharing the Knights Templar Sacrament with us, which is, has taken place years and years, yes. going back into centuries. And, and Kyle is a, and I are members of the Knights Templars, our own little order in Chesterfield. But Kyle is all over the world as a KT Knight. So it was good to do something different today, and I hope you enjoyed that. I just got a few announcements what's going on this week. Uh, Thursday night prayer meeting as normal. Uh, Brother David won't be there because he's getting ready for the weekend after that on Saturday, where the fellowship will be having a meet-up in um, Missouri. I forget the name of the place now, but there's a, a campsite and they're all meeting there. You're all welcome to come. Just have a look for the advert on the on the web, web page or the calendar. And we're hoping to link up. So hopefully Kyle will come down to mine yeah. for five o'clock. And I've set up a link. Hopefully people will get it. So we can link up and see what's going on down there. So the church website, uh, Robert David will put above, and my email address he'll put at the bottom. So that ends our sacrament meeting for today, and we ask that God will bless your week and that everything could be okay. We're remembering in our prayers, Paul and Kyle. Kyle's got a bad leg now, so we, we ask for the saviours of God's healing that it will become better and we also ask that uh, his love will surround those people that have loved lost ones in the hurricanes and in the the wars that are going on heavenly father i pray that your spirit will be with us as we carry on that we can fully you more we never stray we never Leave that rod of iron, as it says in the Book of Mormon, that we reach our goal, the, the tree, the tree that Lehi dreamed of in the Book of Mormon. So we pray these things, that your love will be with us throughout the rest of our time. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. Shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. <laughs>